Hey everyone, it's Libby from Meister Tarot. Absolute pleasure to have you, your guides, my guides, and the universal energies here with me today. Oh, what a day. Um, yeah, for those that have uh, been sending light and love, absolutely appreciated. My mum is doing fabulously. She is such the easiest person to look look after. But I will admit she is not actually sick sick. She's uh, undergoing the treatment. We've done the first round. She's just simply tired. So just here to sort of you know, do the housekeeping stuff, you know, a bit of washing, preparing dinner, all that sort of fun stuff. So, no, we're doing fabulously, very easy to get along with and uh, just tired, still got all her all her uh, zoom zoom about her except that it's a lot slower at the moment. Okay, where do I go in this particular reading? So much to look at. Talk about Cat fight, it is on. So we've got uh, Laura Luma, who I did a reading on a few weeks back. So just put Luma in the search option and you'll find it, L-O-O-M-E-R. Was not a very good reading for Laura Luma, but she's versus Marjorie Taylor Green. Apparently she's called Marjorie Taylor Green. Uh, what did she call her? Uh, trailer Trash Harpy. Always. So, of course, MTG is uh, spat back and draw, got her claws out. Uh, Luma's now, so Laura Luma has been basically tagging along with Donald Trump recently. Laura Luma has also lashed out at Lindsey Graham, uh, telling him to get himself out of the closet. Just wow, wow. She is absolutely off the, off the rails. So, what are we going to look at? Now, when I was having a look at, um, uh, having a think about, well, this Laura Luma versus MTG cat fight, uh, Trump has actually posted that uh, Luma does not work for the campaign, the Trump campaign, and he disagrees with statements that she's made, but he still supports her. So, she is far right, um, uh, just absolute nutball here. Uh, excuse my... <laughs> Sorry, my bias is showing. How about I put it back in its box? But it, while I was having a, a, a look at a little read about what Luma and MTG were carrying on about, I got the clearest um, information that Laura Luma has, she sees herself as the Melania Trump body double substitute. Now, they're not having an affair or anything like that as such, but she said that that's what I'm getting from Laura Luma. And then when I looked up, apparently she's dyed her hair to the same colour as uh, Melania Trump. So she's got a it felt re it was the weirdest feeling, but it felt very strongly that if you've ever been in theatre and you are playing a character and you get so immersed in that character that you actually feel like you are that character. It is the way you are supposed to do theatre. The, the feel was very similar to that with um, Laura Luma in that she was immersing herself so deeply into the role of Melania that she, do not be surprised if she comes out with an accent, uh, she somehow actually perceives herself as Melania. It was the oddest, oddest feeling. So I'm just going to have a look. Let's have a look at the energies of Laura Luma. Um, she's also, the feels I got was that she was trying to isolate Trump so that uh, she could have him all to herself. Oh God, she can have him. But let's have a look. Let's have a look. And then I just want to see whether she's getting payment from Russia as part of these influences. So show me the energies of Laura Luma. And then I might have a look at MTG, how she's going with this. And then I might have a little snoop at Lindsay. So it's going to be a bit of a long reading, this one. Buckle in. Let's have a look. It's going to get absolutely wild going forward is what I feel. The whole Republican thing is going to get wild. Okay, show me. Not too much. Oh, too much. But guess what happened? Here's Russia. Russia, something out of left field, lost disappointment, heartbreak, be careful what you wish for. And this is her rising star. 
Be careful what you wish for as the rising star. And then the next card was the three of pentacles, which is my dark money. So I'm going to say, yes, she found some money in her bank account, put there courtesy of Russia. But let's have a look. Show me the energies of Laura Luma. Come on down in regards to Trump. Okay, the world, the world card. At the moment, he is her world. Just going to, that's all what I'm getting from that card. At the moment, she is the the moon orbiting the world of Donald Trump. Ah, emotionally unbalanced, uh, over the top. Uh, I have, if I remember correctly from when I did the reading on Laura Luma, she had had a couple of spells in a psychiatric hospital. I, I'm going to say her cup runneth over here. Uh, she's, I'm just going to say she's emotionally not well. Uh, yeah, foundation. It's, oh boy, that was interesting. I don't know if you heard the guides then. Uh, nightmarish stalking is the word I got. This is, oh, the energies I'm feeling is really uncomfortable. I got nightmarish stalking here. In the past, Smuggled herself in. Smuggled herself into the inner circle. I, I don't think Trump even knows how she got there. Crowning this reading. Yeah, they're all buddy-buddy at the moment. Contracts and agreements working together. All buddy-buddy. But it is an unbalanced relationship. Okay, I'm really drawn to the two figures here. You have a look at the female figure. She's got a big scowl on her face and he's reaching for her cup. So it's a very unbalanced relationship is what I'm getting in that he thinks he has her under control, but she she's not. Oh, this is really odd. Oh, I was going to do the energies, but for some reason I've ended up doing a Celtic cross. So that's cool. Uh, the immediate future, she's not going to like what is on offer. I suspect, oh, okay, thank you. <laughs> they just showed me of an image of her being escorted out. So she's not going to like the outcome of this, and it's going to come fairly soon. Externally, she's going to be seen from a different point of view. She's going to be sacrificed. She's going to be stopped internally. She's going to face full exposure, but also a childlike. Okay. Um, I would not be surprised if she has a, another psychiatric episode where she has a regression. And she's just on full public view. The message that she's putting out there is just too chaotic and too burdensome. The outcome. The independent female but locked away in her gilded cage. The moneyed female. Locked away in her gilded cage. We've got... It's the wheel of destiny is coming for her. And her lunacy is going to surface. Oh, this is this makes me feel really uncomfortable. Okay. So that's Laura. How's Marjorie Taylor Green feeling about this? Aside from as jealous as whatever, because she was she's for a long time now wanted to be the one sitting next to Trump on the plane. It's just crazy stalking, crazy stalking, and it's just going to get chaotically out of control. But how's Marjorie Taylor Greene feeling about all this? How's Marjorie Taylor Greene feeling about... I am going to say, I think Laura Loomer also found a few extra dollars drop, dropped in her bank account, but let's have a look at Marjorie Taylor Green. 
set, a, set herself up as the blonde, the mus, muscle blonde. Uh, oh, it's, boy, oh, boy, the, the very public Twitter blows that are being... I think it's taken Marjorie the, the the depth of craziness of the posts that Luma is uh, is putting out there is taken Marjorie Taylor Green by surprise. I mean Marjorie Taylor Green ain't short on putting out crazy posts, but this is next level stuff. Okay, show me how's Marjorie Taylor Green feeling about these attacks from Luma? Show me Marjorie Taylor Green. She's actually going to be supportive of Lindsay. It's almost like enemy of my enemy is my friend. Okay, come on. How's Marjorie Taylor Green feeling about all this? Oh, okay. She, well, she's weighing up very much, weighing up. Which which way forward does she go? She's been caught on the hop. She's, she's juggling who to, what to support. I think the rug's almost been pulled out from under her feet. She she had set herself up as, um, well, she wanted to be, uh, Donnie's sidekick, but she's been superseded. So at the moment she's been caught on the hop and she's trying to decide how to deal with this as the ships are on the tumultuous waters here, just about to be wrecked on the rocks. The challenge the King of Wands, about uh, taking back the con power and control of the messaging that Marjorie Taylor Greene wants to get out there. I don't know that it's going to end well for her, but she's she's desperately trying to take back the, the control of the messaging. She's may, may make overtures here of a, a truce or a ceasefire, at the foundation there. Beware the night-bearing gifts. In the past, we have the female legislator, also the childless cat ladies, but I'm getting more a draw that this is Green herself, the female legislator who has set herself up as the queen and has now found her knocked off the throne in the past. Crowning this reading, again, another queen. So... Regardless of what Luma likes to think, Marjorie Taylor Greene has more uh, power within the GOP than Luma will ever have. But Marjorie's trying to hold on to her emotions, not lose her lose her top about this. But also, Laura Lu Lara Luma, Laura Luma has threatened to expose secrets about Marjorie Taylor Greene, so she's desperately trying to keep it under control. So I think she's very possibly behind the scenes made a peace offering here. Okay, immediate future, we have the DOJ, not surprised, or the IRS looking into this Russian money. That's Marjorie Taylor Greene feeling. She sees her ship sailing out of the harbour without her internally. The, the sword slices both ways internally, but she's bringing a sort of truth. So she might be bringing, she might be doing the dirt on Luma, bringing a sort of truth, which will take potentially Trump down at the same time. This is just, ugh, because she sees her plan to be on one of the ships is not working has been foiled externally. So inside, she's bringing her sharpened sword. Hopes and fears, trying to frantically juggle from cup to cup to try and rebalance her position. We've got the outcome, a money trail, or hard work behind the scenes. Let's see where it goes. The fool, a new journey, and a harsh truth. Boy, oh boy, about lies, deceit, betrayal, it's going to bring about an ending and a judgment moment. 
on the base, wounded in retreat, back up against the wall, bringing forth, wielding her sword of truth, the whistleblower and Jack Smith. We've got contracts and agreements with the devil. I really feel hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. Marjorie Taylor Greene is going to somehow do a dirty on Luma, possibly talking to the DOJ, possibly talking to Jack Smith about some sort of deals that were made with the devil. Oh, is she going to turn on Donald himself? Ooh, that, let me add that to the series of questions. She's, she's going to be absolutely hell hath no fury. And if Donald is not going to return to her, is she going to, let's just go there for a second. Is, I'll just do a little three, three carter. She says, no, six carter. Is Marjorie Taylor Greene out of spite? Has Donald's got another main squeeze and it's not her? Is she, to, to take Luma down, is Greene going to... Whistleblow on Don? Come on, let's have a look. The hanged man, the swords, temperance, trying to restore balance. Queen of Cups, secrets, hidden agenda. Secrets to reveal about the hidden agenda. Because she has found herself out in the cold. Aside from yes, yes, oh, it's a four, it's a yes, yes, yes. Because she is out. She has found herself out. And we have here the poor choices that were made in regards to her relationship with Don. And she's got a lot of negative information that she's going to bring forward very quickly about money trails. I'm going to say yes. Oh, look what's on the bottom. The death card. Bringing him down. The Queen of Wands. She wants to take back control. And then she's going to walk away after she hits with the big whistleblowing stick to Jack Smith or similar. The GOP infighting and the ending. I'm going to say yes. I'm going to say that she is going to ask for popcorn. I am going to say yes. She is going to turn on Donald and reveal some really interesting secrets to get back because she's feeling scathing, scathed and scorned and, oh, gosh. Okay, how's Lindsay feeling? How's Lindsay Graham feeling with that message from Laura Luma? How is Lindsay Graham being told to get out of the closet? How's Lindsay feeling completely blindsided? Out of left field, blindsided. I mean, we all know that Lindsay's of that bent, but he didn't expect it to be so public. We've got the Empress challenged by the Empress. It's This is going to be big for Lindsay, but it's also about embracing the feminine, it's also about Russia as well, but I'm really getting the feeling that this is, the challenge is his, his 
I excuse the way I put this, but I'm getting his cross-dressing side is going to be his challenge. His, his feminine energy side is going to be his challenge and it's going to be big. Okay. I mean, most of us don't have an issue with it, but foundation, loud and clear and how's he feeling? Like his eardrums have been blasted off with this. A judgment moment where, I mean, you'd have to be under a rock not to know, but it's almost like those that weren't aware are going to hear it loud and clear. In the past, the lover's card, the awkward relationships, the unbalanced relationships, potentially relationships that he's had. Now, I'm not saying it's necessarily with women. It may be his feminine side with men. And here is the all-seeing, all-dancing, all-laughing. Um, no, the just, it's known. <laughs> it's known. Okay. Crowning this reading, a lot of negative headlines coming forward very quickly. He's going to find himself very exposed in the near future. It's nightmarish for him internally because he's feeling isolated and he's had a light shone on what he didn't want it shone on. Uh, the hopes and fears, the apprentice, the hard work going on behind the scenes. I'm getting hopes and fears. Just peace. Working on being at peace with himself is what I'm getting there. Most of us wouldn't care less. There's only just the element that he's trying to actually appeal to does, and they are a minority. He's got a lot of internal work that he needs to do. The outcome, the volatile message, bringing about an ending for him. An ending to his position as a legislator. We've got strength trying to gag the lion, the orange lion. She's, I'm getting Loma is controlling the orange lion and it's going to lead it to a loss for Lindsay. I don't know when he's up for re-election. Um, I just really feel he got blindsided by this. We all knew that he's been blindsided by it and it's a nightmarish situation for him. Don't like him, old flip-flopper Lindsay. But at the end of the day, it wasn't for somebody else. It wasn't for somebody else to reveal his most inner secrets. But that's what Loma is doing. Okay, not a fan of Lindsay as a person, couldn't care less what his sexual orientation is. But yeah, he's the, the secrets are coming out, secrets are being revealed. Okay, let's have a quick look. Is Luma on the take? I'll just do a six carder. Is Luma on the take from the Russians? Is she going to find herself under investigation as part of the DOJ? Is Luma? Oh, I won't him. Well, <laughs> this is the one that was left standing after I dropped all those cards, and she's going to have to defend herself. Let's have a look. I'll just pick all these up. That's one that's prompting itself at me. Which way up do they go? Oh, I'm just. This, 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 ending at the face of the truth, the infighting, throwing under the bus, bringing about an ending. We've got the King of Pentacles, betrayal, heartbreak, loss, just secret agendas. Got cards falling out everywhere. And yeah, I'd say she got paid for it. 
sorry, I'll pick these up and have another go at shuffling and actually get them down where she's going to be seen and heard and find herself in a very uncomfortable situation. It's it, The truth of it is going to be seen and heard. Okay, show me. Let's try that again. Luma, is she in the, oh, she's, I think she's going to have a breakdown in regards to this. Is Luma, she's, I'll say she she's, feels on the schizophrenic spectrum. Now, I know a lot of people function really well, but she feels, I say, skitty schizophrenic okay show me show me is luma paid by the russians let's have a quick look well full exposure finding herself fully exposed about the relationship with the oligarchal money so she's getting paid by somebody The fool, her foolishness, she's going to be seen and heard for who she really is and it's going to be in a very uncomfortable position. May even have threatened homeland security. But we've got this poor choices, lured by greed, power, addiction. I'd say she had money land in her lap and she chose to take it. And here we have the emotional overwhelming, the cleansing and ill health. These two cards together. Yeah, here's the money changing hands. She thinks she is a woman of luxury and power, but there's going to be a lot of negative messages come out really quickly about the abuse of power, the lying, the stealing, the betrayal, the win at all cost, and it's going to be a fool's gold that is going to end up running through her fingers on the base. We've got the tower, we have a prosecution, we have information yet to be released, and we have the justice card. So I'm going to say a big yes, it may not have been Russia, but she's had some money dropped in her account by somebody. Uh, and she's going to find herself in hot water about it. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. Have to shake that all off. Yeah, there's a there's a lot going on there. Okay, love to you all. Take care. Bye bye.